Okay, so first things first, we do the um, Wuji standing. <coughs> okay, just standing. Feet about shoulder width apart. Legs are fairly straight. There's a small bend in the knees. Okay, and then just connection. Head comes back, chin slightly tucked. So feeling above your head, then sinking the way through the body. Relax the back of the head and the neck and the shoulders. And just very lightly pressing on the floor as you're sinking down. Try and generate the feeling of all the joints being opened, the fascia opening. Okay, and then we're just going to drop a little bit and then we're going to press into the floor. When you press into the floor, we open all the joints at the same time and then relax. And two. And relax. And three. And relax. Four. Five. Press. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then one more. As you press, we open and then we hold. So all the joints slightly cracked open. And then release. Up hands. Two rub kidneys. Okay, and then circle hips. Change direction. Good. Loose and relaxed. Okay, stretching the head up, upwards, dropping the tail down, tuck the tail under slightly. Sink into the floor, feel the connection with their hands, press on the feet. And release. So Long Jin Song Gong number two. Head up, that's everything else dropping downwards. Sinking to the floor, pressing on the feet. Long Jin. Okay, and then one more. Press. And release. Okay, rolling your shoulders. Change. OK, 
Okay, good. Lose some of the next. Okay, one hand. Slightly wider with the posture. Okay, circle. Okay, elbow drop. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. Change. And two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, swap sides. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, change, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, both, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and reverse. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, you can go wider, wider stance. Position of the head is crucial. Elbow over knee. Silk reeling. Keep shoulder and the elbow drop down. And two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine.
and easily turning rope. Elbow on the other side, forwards. That's it, yeah, good. Okay, and then release. Change to the other side. Okay, elbow over knee. Okay, new okay. gate. Elbow stays relatively over the knee. And two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And nine. And lazily time rope. Pay attention to what your hips are doing. It should be level. Elbow over the knee. Another elbow pointing slightly forwards. Okay, good. And then release. Coming back to our Wuji standing posture. So you'll get very, very hot doing all of this. Head is back, chin is tucked. Okay, feeling the posture first, letting everything melt down to the floor. Okay, now we sink a little bit. We feel the connection to the ground, we press. Everything opening at the same time. Small. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, feel all the joints open just a smidge and then holding this one. Good, and release. Okay, and move a little bit closer to you. Okay, so when we sink through one leg and then we press on the foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, good. Okay, finding your either somewhere to place your foot onto like a chair or a plant pot or wherever you are improvise okay finding your wall okay one place the ankle 
flat against the wall, the foot flat against the wall if you can. Okay, keeping the posture upright. Okay, finding, sinking through one leg. Push the head back, tuck the chin slightly. And then letting gravity do the rest. In the beginning, 30 seconds, and then changing sides. Okay, and lift and flatten against the wall. Feeling the hip, feel the hip go in. Okay, head positioning, back, touch in. Everything drop to the floor. Okay, and then release. Good. Shake it out. Okay, linking the fingers and then open and then link the fingers two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, good. And then we really like a little bit of a more solid posture. Okay, turn once and then turn more once. More one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, 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 one, two. Okay, good. Posture that we had from this morning session, so this holding ball posture. The feet in a little bit, feel the connections, okay, and then turning, inhale, exhale, two, exhale, three, exhale, four, exhale, five, exhale, six, exhale, seven, exhale, eight, and nine. Good, back to center, change, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, 
eight, nine. Hold, pause. Everything up, I sink down. Good, and release, drop down. Okay, nice. Okay, and then moving around a little bit again. Okay, a little bit for your back. So it's much wider posture. Okay. And then sitting posture down, head upright. Touch in. So the hands come down a little bit. Feeling comfortable in this posture. Roll the tailbone under slightly, not very much at all. That's it. Difficult stance. This one. This one. Horse stance. Called Mabu in Chinese. Okay, and we just want to. Bring the hands back to the thighs, make sure everything's level. Okay, and then over to one side, swinging the body. And swing the body. Two. Slowly up. Okay, bring it the feet. Okay, finding the right stance. Okay, stepping slightly wider. And this one for the spine. Okay, so press on the feet, open big. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sink. Press on the feet. Come back. Apple. Stretching down. Swing from the hips. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and then waist 
to the hips. Okay, good. And then rib cage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. And up. For now. Get in a little bit standing. With all the joints open in the body. Okay, dropping down one, two, push out. Dropping down two. Push on the feet out. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, press on the feet, Cover everything opening just a smidge. Connecting to the feeling of how open the joints are. Connecting in all directions. Okay, and then release. Okay, good. Shake. If you need to get a drink, then please do. Moving. Coordination. Okay, good. Okay, we do the uh, form. Okay, so feet fairly close together. So you can see how much room I have in my room. To make sure you have a little bit of room yourself. Okay, so first things first, we have to get the antenna up. What do I mean by the antenna? In Tai Chi, they say that your head must be suspended by a thread from heaven. Well, the thread doesn't connect to your head, it connects to the energy just before it touches the bar weight point. So if you put your hand just above your head, you and further above your head. So here it might be cold as you come down, so it's to get warmer, warmer, warmer. So where this energy starts getting warm is where you want your your mind to be. And it's not there permanently, it just has to be there in the beginning. Okay, so when the mind is there in the beginning, so we have the mind up there. Okay, now we must drop the mind out of our body into the ground, way into the ground. I mean, underneath your feet. Mind intention underneath your feet. So this is the state of no mind, or you can have your mind at the surface of your skin. Okay, changing the weight now. Find that side. Okay, lifting. When you lift, make sure your knee doesn't collapse inwards, which is why we do the wall strengthening exercise to stop that. Step out. 
one and two. Watch the legs, watch the knees, make sure they don't kind of bow out or bow inwards. The feeling is it that you're kind of holding between your knees a ball and you're just gently squeezing that ball. Okay, sinking, dropping down. Okay, now when we press on the feet, we rise up. The elbows don't rise with you though, they stay in their fixed space, turning the hands over, elbows, shoulders come down, one and two. To change, return, return again, we sink through the right side, as the right hand twists, we lift up. Again, we don't really want to lift up that far because we want to still keep the relaxation in the shoulders. So my weight should be on my right leg. I may be sinking down into the ground, but it should be on my right leg. Okay, now I'm going to swap my weight to my left leg, sinking through my left leg. Okay, and I turn a little bit to the left before I turn to the right. One and two. And change the weight into the right leg. Step. Because we're stepping forwards, we look where we're placing the heel. The elbows and the shoulders stay down and we turn, we drop into the back leg, we turn the body as we turn out the front foot slightly, one and two, open, looking back and looking forwards like you're striking back and you're striking forwards now looking to the front, turn out your left foot Step in, keep the elbow drop down. And up, elbow close to your knee and drop. Keeping the shoulders in line with your ears. Yeah, the fist very close, not so far away from the body, elbows not touching. Okay, so we have our elbows not touching. Then we have the weight more on the left side. As we press on the left foot, It moves into the right, you can see both of your hands, one and two. You don't want to straighten the arms. And then you're going to change the weight to the left. And a step into the ankle, just below the knee. We can come down, we can slide out. The left hand moves over the top. We keep left, one and two, changing, turning the left hand palm up, as we start to shift the weight back, we start to rotate the right hand, left hand is going to come from the elbow to the side of the rib cage. as the hand pushes out we start to turn the body one, two, lazy to tie your coat, anxiety, 60-40, weight on the right side, shoulder, elbow, relax, okay, turning now, we rotate into the left side, as we turn, the 
of those line up. Turn a little bit more and we start to shift the weight. So the elbows and the shoulders come down without touching the rib cage. Now they start to rise upwards and turn and we step one and two. So here, this part of your body, stay to the front, don't turn in your foot. Here your foot is in line, your toes are in line, your heel is in line. Yeah, one, and your hands over your knee. Again, the fingertips are either side of your center line in your body. The head is pushed back with the chin tucked, with the spine releasing downwards. The left knee is lifted slightly because of the position of the ball of the foot. Okay, then we change, we turn. And one, and two. One and two. Okay, finding the position. The head's in the right place when we lift up. We will have balance. Step. Turning. Open. <coughs> Wait right. Lift back left. Turn in right foot. Single lift. Everything level. Head back, chin tucked. Mostly the weight on the left leg. But again, you can have 60 40. Now we have weight on left leg. Shifting up to your hip, to your right shoulder, and the body turns. Okay, now the body is going to turn back. As the body is turning, the left hand is opening, the right hand is also opening. We're turning, and we step, and we step, one and two. Weight is on your left leg. And the hands are positioned a little bit like we were in the beginning. See the elbow over the knee and the other elbow over the other knee. And the elbows rest down and let's do the shoulders a little bit closer to the body. And just bringing tail under slightly. Our next move is to turn out. And as we're turning, the left hand starts to slide down. We then turn out the right foot. We're going to hit step, all the way going through the right side, white crane spreading its wings. By Her Liang One and two. Feel everything open. Sinking through that right leg. Again, make sure the position of the hip is in the right place. Yeah, this is not a big movement. The body is facing, not dead straight, but slightly to the angle, slightly to one side. Okay, do again. So one and two. Okay, so turn, turn out your right foot, and step, separate the hands, turn the body slightly, one and two, feel the tail stick under slightly, otherwise the weight will be forwards over your knee, you don't want that. So you just want to tuck the towel just a little bit. Changing one. 
make sure this is on the center line. Turning to, turn on the ball of your left foot. Change to the heel of the left foot. Keeping the elbows and the shoulders where they are. So when we lift, they stay drop down, they don't lift with you. When we step on the 45 degree angle, yeah, they stay exactly where they are. Tailbone is still tucking under slightly. Change the yeah, airspeed. Okay, now one hand drops, so the other one rises. Turn in the right foot. One. Two. Three. To the elbow over the knee and then turn and nicely weight in left leg dropping down slope step here rise see the elbows stay where they are shoulders stay where they are hands turn one and two keeping the bend in the elbows they're not straightening at all. Okay, here if you need to correct and come back slightly. Okay, now on the hands from here, when the hands come down, the knee lifts parallel to the floor. We lift the hands up. We do a big step. We turn in the back foot and then we sink into the posture. Abu, so everything sinking inwards. Okay, change. Step. Step. Strike number two. Okay, here we turn out the right foot. Step, land, small, and so here, right, left, back to right, one and two, very light fists. Very light fist, it's only at the very last second where you want to exert your power. So here, drop, press on the foot, strike. That's it, good. Sinking, tucking the tailbone slightly, changing, weight to right. Turning into the left side, left hand turns up. Turn in the right foot. Bring left hand underneath right elbow. Sweeping. Turn. Sink. Open Gautama. I found horse. One and two. It's a bit hot. <laughs> okay, so a little bit like the, the posture that we did with this one, except we have the hand out this time. Yes, yeah, still this part of the body opening and round and the knee lifted up so the heel is up on your left leg. Okay, good. And here I don't want my shoulders to be too rounded. I want them to be open but not too rounded. Okay, as the heel comes down, I can then sink into that left leg. This gives me my balance on my right. Step. Deliberately. Turn. Keep the elbows dropped down. 
spread the hands, look right first, come back to centre. One and two, tuck the tailbone under slightly. Head back, chin tucked. Feel the connections. Weight mostly in your right leg. 60, 40 again. Okay, now we're gonna change and we're gonna bring the weight into the right leg. The hands are gonna start dropping down. And we slide the foot in, crossing the hands. Into the center of my room. Okay, center, sinking. Tuck your tailbone very, very slightly. And we're tucking the tailbone. Okay, bring the weight to the right side. One, two, strike. Push off of your right foot. One and two. Change weight to left leg. Turn the body. Step in with the foot. Step out with the foot. Start turning the body. Left hands, turn on the left heel. Okay, and bring the hands. One and two. Pay attention to where the head is. Sinking through the left leg. Tail is slightly tucked under. Press off your left foot. One and two. Still sinking, connecting, touching, lift, parallel with your knee, elbows drop, shoulders drop, kick into the floor, one and two, step, step, step. Turn on the ball of the right foot, turn on the heel of the left. One and two, into cloud hands. Move around a little bit. Okay, from cloud hands. So we step with the left. One hand comes up, one hand comes down. One hand folds in, turns out. Stepping. One hand folds in, folds out. Stepping. And step. Do it again. And step. One up, one down. Small. Step. Step. And step behind. One and two. Body turns. Yeah, this position. See my knee behind my other knee. This foot not so close, but a little bit further away. When I turn my hands, I turn on the ball of my right foot. Left foot. Right foot, one and two. Holding this one, tuck. Change. Lift. And step, 45 degrees. 
So the elbow is still dropping down. Good. Do it again. Let's do from cloud hands. Stepping small. Three. Three. And then one, two, three. Just making a minor adjustment. And step. So here, if I, if I don't tuck my tailbone under, it feels very awkward when I lift my heel. Step. One and two. Okay, here, turning, lift, kick, step, that same 45 degree angle, turning, lifting, and strike, one and two. Open arm. Downwards. Turn out the front foot. Step in. Step. One. Two. Three, four, change. Okay, sinking through the ground. Hold, Wuji. Try and press on the feet, feel the joints opening up, feel the connection all the way to the tips of the fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then press, feel the joints open at the same time, holding, feeling the flow catching in the center of the flow. Good, and then release that. Okay, we're going to get very, very hot doing that. Okay, now we're going to merge the three dantian into one. Okay, so this is a very nice exercise to end all this on. Okay, so one and two. Hold the ball. 
So from lower abdomen, just to the middle, down to mind intention in the middle, down to end, and drop back down to the lower. And two. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Okay, now from lower to upper. Two. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And rest. Okay, bringing to middle dance in. Middle into upper. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, pause, middle dance again, and drop into the lower one. Okay, now we empower earth and heaven. I just let the arms drop to the sides. Bring the mind and the energy from the dancing way above your head, like you're connecting to a star above you. On the inhale and then on the exhale, drop your mind to below your feet, way below your feet to the core of the earth. And as you inhale, bring up the grounding energy from the earth. Connect it to the sky. Exhale. Connecting heaven with earth. And three, inhale. 
think so. Four. Exhale. Five. Exhale. Six. Exhale. Seven. Smell. Eight. Smell. Nine. Exhale. Okay, and then just bringing the hands in front, this universal posture. So this is realigning the spine. All through down to and run through the center of your spine. And the spine contains your Taiji pole, which is where all your energy is going to meld and blend. Okay, so on the inhale, draw energy from heaven, earth. Upper, middle, and lower dantian into your spine. And then exhale, send the energy up and send it down. Temple two. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Five. Exhale. Six. Exhale. Seven. Exhale. Eight. Exhale. Nine. Exhale. And now bring all two to Dantian. Okay, pull the chi from the pores of your skin into your bones, into your marrow on the inhale. Exhale, expand in all directions, above you, below you forwards behind you, to your left and right, nourishing your chi. Ren zai chi jong, chi zai ren jong. I'm in chi, chi is in me.
across the joints. Press, expand slightly. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. And lightly press on the feet. And feel the connection all the way through your body, holding the connection. into the abdomen, pull all the energy from all over your body into the lower dantian, creating a shining pearl of energy. Okay, release, let go. Okay. Washing the front of the body now. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, okay, now the back of the body, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine and then the center of the body so through the center of the head spine bone marrow and two three four Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. Pause and breathe. Of tension in your body. Uh, 
Okay, good. Lifting the right hand, left hand. Okay, we finished there, well done. And thank you very much for joining me. Good. Well done, everyone.